it's a white bass. Yep. Uh, going in. Come here. All right. Got ourselves a little dinner going. Good news is we got a decent little bag of white bass. We can take those home to the girls. My mom loves fried fish, so does Stephanie. And I want to try this recipe that old Colton from Minnesota showed me. It looked amazing. It was awesome with the crappie. So I want to try that and show you guys that. It's your hubby. Hello. It's time to clean some fish. I hope y'all tuned in to the last video where we caught a lot of these white bass, caught largemouth and white bass, but obviously not keeping the largemouth. We're gonna walk you through the recipe today. Got OSG in there. My dad just got home from a tournament. We're gonna check in with him here in a minute, get some of his stories. I haven't even talked to him yet. We got our knives ready to go. We're gonna fillet these white bass up. I've done this on camera before, but if you wanna check out how it's done, if you've never cleaned a fish before, I'll show you how to do it right now. First of all, you need a fish. That's one right there. Stiff as a board they are right now, but I wanted to let these cool down for at least six or seven hours. Caught them in the morning and we're in the evening now. I like for the meat to firm up a little bit. It, uh, it, just, it just goes better into the, into the batter. I think it tastes better and it's, it's not as mushy. It's just better. Let's take your fillet knife, make sure it's real sharp. You want to lift that little uh, pectoral fin up, go right into the side of the fish like that, slice that open, and you go down the backbone of the fish. That kind of makes the fillet, and you can slide it all the way down if you've got a real sharp knife, if you've got an electrical knife. When I'm using these smaller knives, normally I'll go down just the meat try to not cut through the bone as much. Go all the way down to the tail. Cut the little rib bone off. And from there you just take your knife, run it down just along the skin there. There you go. That's all you gotta do. Now on the males, a lot of times they'll have a little uh, red section that runs down the side like that. You can cut that off. Normally I don't. It's It doesn't bother me too bad. Key is, these are gonna taste like buffalo wings when we get done with them. That's gonna be the really cool part. Meat's cold, feels good. So we're gonna put these in a bowl. We're gonna take them inside. I'm gonna show you how to prepare them and then we cook them. This is obviously a female right here. Look how tiny the head is and fat the body is. It's full of eggs right there, you can see. Some people call that caviar. All right, we've got our fillets. I chopped these uh, in half and now it is time Dab these off a little bit. You want them to be dry, so the uh, Frank's Red Hot will stick to them. So, Mom, you're going to be Lake Fork. Mom is going to be the uh, the I chef on this one. Ocean Spoon Girl is uh, making a baby, and she's quite <laughs> tired. She's taking a nap. All right, we're going to put these in here. These are nice size, cut up just right. Yeah. The reason we want to dab them is because here, just a second. We're gonna put this right, right there on there, and this is gonna be the key. I've been wanting to test this and see what's going on with that. What do you think, Miss B? Is it gonna be delicious? While she's doing that, we're gonna check in with Dad. I think he's getting the grease hot outside. LFD's getting the grease going out here. Yes, I am. Always good to come home to a fish fry, right? Absolutely. You know, we're fishing on fork today, and then I found out we're having fish, because Lake Fork guy caught a bunch. Little family cookout action. It's always good. Time to add the sauce. Take the uh, take the Frank's Red Hot. This is you can pretty much pick this up anywhere. Just gonna dabble it on all the uh, all the white bass fillets. Dabble it. Yeah. There's no egg. There's no milk. It's just straight up Frank's Red Hot. Whole bottle. Oh yeah. However much as it takes. I mean, it might take the whole bottle. There we go. Uh, we'll have to experiment with like letting this marinate in there, soak for a little while. But for today's purposes, we're just coating it. Make sure all of them are coated. You just like Paula Dane, Mom. Make sure they're covered and smothered. Can you be like RT's mom? <laughs> <laughs> K 
covered and smothered. You normally have a redneck accent. You're just trying to act like you don't on camera. <laughs> no, that's she's from she's from deep south Alabama. They're covered and smothered. And then you're gonna put them in the flour over there. That's already been seasoned that's with right. salt and pepper. That's right. We've got a little bit of uh, all-purpose flour with cornmeal. Well, Dad, let's hear about the fishing on Fork today. You were fishing a tournament out there, right? Fishing a uh, charity tournament. A good friend of mine, Eric Schumann, who was a football player at Alabama, he's a great guy. He's coached for many years. He and I coached together early on. He hooked a what we thought was an over, which it has to be 24 inches to be an over. And you should have seen him. He's like hooked and he thought he had a log. He's like uh, using foul language. And then, he, <laughs> then the thing started taking off and uh, we knew he had an over. So I got the net, secured it, and it was 23 inches. Dang. That much from being like. So, well, that would have won? It, yes, his yeah. fish would have won. It was the biggest one he's caught on fork, uh, and he lives there. So it was a good thing. Enjoyed the heck out of it. I like how Miss B just is complimenting oh. your story. <laughs> <laughs> She just comes in, she's like, that's what I think about that story. <laughs> well, I guess it's just a crappy story. So the idea on this, you've never you've never had them like this, right? No, never have. The idea is that they're going to taste like, like buffalo wings. Oh, man, cool. So uh, I'm thinking if this is good on these white bass, we got to try this up on the walleye in Canada this year. But, you know, I've had so many, I've had white bass so many times, I figured this would be a nice little twist on it. See if it's hot. Oh yeah. There we go. Ooh. Drop it in the grease. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you ruined that story. Well, I have an exciting update for the lake. Right. You like to fish over here, Dad. Yep. So I know how you've been fishing it a lot. The fish haven't moved up shallow. They are officially moved up shallow now. Water is 65 degrees. Right. The shad are spawning. And the bass, the white bass, everything is in the shallows. Oh, cool. So, I know you like to throw that big old spinner bait. I would get out there and do it now. Because now would. is the time. Well, I will. You know, I missed that one last year that was a double digit, and I cannot get it off my mind. Hot sauce. You like buffalo wings, though, don't I you? I do, yes. Absolutely. Who doesn't like buffalo wings? You like buffalo wings, huh? <laughs> Shake and bake. Shake and bake. This is just flour with a little bit of salt and a tiny bit of cornmeal, I believe. That's correct. That's mama's mixture. How do these fishing freaks know when these fish are ready, Dad? Well, when they float to the top, and they're kind of floating along like a raft, they're ready to go. Oh, and French fries. Lake Fort bon has got French fries. Yeah. Fantastic. And you chop those up yourself. These are homemade. That's right. We've got my best tongs out here. Uh -oh. Y'all know y'all were not supposed to be using my best tongs. Oh, are those like a William Sonoma kind of deal? Yes, those are my best tongs. <laughs> Your daddy is not supposed to be using them. Yeah. Oh yeah, they should have a little, little goldenness. That looks good. That looks like fried chicken. That does look good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go check on staff. How long have I been sleeping? Probably an hour. You growing a little baby? I'm hungry. You're hungry now? <laughs> well. I'm gonna bring me some crackers. <laughs> you want crackers? I got buffalo fried fish for you. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good when you just wake up. All right, well, we're gonna eat some fish. Okay. And you can eat your crackers. These are really, really good. You just tried them? I did, yeah, this, they're really good. Yeah. Honestly? Yeah, very, yeah. You already, this is still hot. Oh, we're good. You, like? you snuck a piece already? Mm-hmm. And they are very good. You had a sampling as well? I had a sampling, yeah. I've never had these, and uh, they, the hot sauce gives a nice flavor. So you can, you can taste the hot sauce? Yeah. Just a little yeah, bit. You like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, it's got, I love the crust on it. I think it does make a good crust. It does. It makes a good crust. So, this is from a Canadian man. Who uh, he fries walleyes in this? Oh, oh we have well, we've got some walleye that we need to try. You have walleye? I think don't we have some walleye left from your Canada trip? I think so. We do. Yeah. 
We need to break that out. Yes, we do. All right, shout out to Colton for uh, giving us this awesome recipe. It's going over pretty good right now. I still haven't tried it. I'm the most important, so my opinion matters most. All right, which one is not incredibly hot? That uh, little small one there. Right probably, there? Yeah, it's probably very good. Okay, Ooh, it's falling apart. Real hot. Mm. Man. Aren't they tasty? I love the flavor. Yeah. It's just different. Man, that's awesome. Mmm. That is a great twist on white bass that I've never tried. This might be the staple of the house. Love it. LFD is taking off the last of the fish right now. But we've already tried it. It's amazing. Everybody likes it. OSG is yet to try it. She's uh, a little tired from from baby day, not feeling so well. So if you guys wanna go give her a shout out on her Instagram, uh, go do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you did. And this is the point in the video where you subscribe to the channel so you can get more action and hit the ding dong so you can get the things coming every time when I upload. So I hope fishing's good where you are every single species. Catch them up and I'll catch you guys on the next one.